Welcome to the Edivart Elements of Design series. In this final video of the series, we're going to be learning about colour. For our first task, we're going to be completing a colour wheel. So you will need a colour wheel template and some coloured pencils in both the primary colours and the secondary colours. Pop the secondary colours aside for now as we will start with our primary colours. You can start with any colour you like and we're going to colour in the three shapes in the centre of our colour wheel. It doesn't matter which colour you start with or where you place each colour. Just make sure your colouring in is neat and tidy and that you stay in the lines. Once we've finished with our primary colours, we're going to move on to our secondary colours, which we will place in these triangles. Secondary colours are made by mixing two primary colours. If I mix yellow and red together, what colour do they make? The answer, as I'm sure you know, is orange. So I'm going to take my orange pencil and colour in the triangle that touches the yellow and red shapes. What colour is made by mixing yellow and blue together? Take your green pencil and colour in that triangle. Lastly, red and blue as we know make purple, so take your purple pencil and colour in that last triangle. Now that we've completed the primary and secondary sections of our colour wheel, it's time to move on to the outer ring, which is where we will find our tertiary colours. You can see on the template that each of the colours you've already used touches the outer ring. The first thing you're going to do is colour in those shapes using the correct colour that is pointing to them. Once we have our primary and secondary colours in our outer ring, it's time to practice mixing colours together to create tertiary shades of our secondary colours. To make these colours, we're going to blend together the two colours on either side. I'm going to start with a yellow-orange. It's best to start with the lighter tone first, so I'm going to take my yellow pencil and lightly colour in the space between yellow and orange. Then I'm going to take my orange pencil and lightly blend over the top going back and forth between yellow and orange until I have blended together a light orange tone. It can take a few layers before you achieve the right tone. Now we're going to move on to the space between yellow and green. This will be a very bright, grassy green. Again, you're going to want to create a number of layers, lightly blending your colours together to get the right tone. Go ahead and fill in each of the tertiary colours in the outer ring of your colour wheel. Remember to start with the lighter pencil first and use multiple layers of light colour until you get the desired tone. Now we have our colour wheel completed with our primary colours in the centre, our secondary colours in the middle and our tertiary colours in the outer ring. It's time to move on and to learn about how we can use colours together. We know we have our three different categories of colour, primary, secondary and tertiary. When colours are combined together, they are known as colour schemes. There are three types of colour schemes. Complementary colour schemes include colours which contrast with each other. 
Analogous colour schemes include colours which are similar to each other, and monochromatic colour schemes include various tones of a single colour. It's time to apply colour to our still life drawing using a specific colour scheme. Here I have a line drawing of my still life objects. You can choose a complementary, analogous or monochromatic colour scheme to colour in your work. I'm choosing a complementary colour scheme using blue and orange, which you can see are opposite each other on the colour wheel. Choose which type of colour scheme you would like to use for your work and find various tones of your chosen colours. Here I have pencils including different tones of blue and orange. When we colour in our work, we want to remember everything we've learned about creating tone and interest in our work. So I am blending my colour and trying to create a variation between light and dark. When you move on to a different shape, you will want to choose a different tone of the colour you are using. Remember to follow the contour of your shape and create a gradual change from dark at the outside edge to light in the middle. When you start a new form, switch your pencil to a different colour from your colour scheme. In my case, that means I am switching from my blue pencil to an orange pencil for this next form. You can also use your blending skills to combine two colours into a tertiary tone. So here I am starting with yellow and blending some orange over the top to create a different tone. Go ahead and colour in the rest of your drawing. Each form should be its own colour from your colour scheme, but using different tones. The last step is to grab a black texture and outline all of the shapes that you've drawn in your work. So that's it. You've learned about colour theory, and how to combine colours into a colour scheme for your artworks. You should also have applied your drawing skills to create tonal gradients when colouring in your work. Thanks for watching the Elements of Design series. You now have all the building blocks you need to go on and make some amazing artworks.